Come on, everyone, just stand on your feet. With a word like that, just now we should be worshiping. Come on, nobody should be telling you how to worship now. Come on, come on, lift up your hands. Lift up your voices and utter praise unto your God. Come on, somebody, I don't hear you yet. Give God a praise. Come on, shout a praise from your lungs. Come on, shout a praise. Come on. Come on, somebody, tell him, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, he's worthy, he's worthy. Can I get about three people to join with me and give God some praise? Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Turn your Bible with me, if you can, to the book of Genesis, chapter 3. Amen. I don't know about what I want to come up here. I wanted to just sit and listen the word. It was just, my God. Amen. I greet the Holy Ghost out of my life and to your worthy bishop and pastor, Bishop Thornton and his wife, to Sister Cheryl, to my friend, Carl Brown. God bless you, sir. To everyone, I greet you in the name of the Lord. Amen. 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 Turn your Bibles with me to Genesis chapter 3. And reading verse 9 through to about verse 12. And it reads, And the Lord called, and the Lord God called unto Adam, and said unto him, Where art thou? And he said, I heard thy voice in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked. Somebody say, I was naked. And I hid myself. And he said, Who told thee that thou hast naked that thou was naked? Has thou eaten of the tree whereof I commanded thee that thou shouldest not eat? And he said and the man said, The woman whom thou gavest to me to be with me, sorry, she gave me of the tree, and I did eat. Father, Lord, we thank you for your words. You're already anointed. God, I pray that you'll speak, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. You may be seated. So you all heard my age, 19 years old. Amen. I did not come with a doctoral discourse this morning. Amen. If you want, you have to come by Michael University in Jamaica, and I'll give you a doctoral discourse. But I'll be speaking on your topic this morning, come alive and get back to Zion. Now I read a scripture just now, amen, Genesis chapter 3, and it, it is speaking of God, amen, praise the Lord, when the Lord God would come down in the cool of the day, when he made man, amen, and he would communicate with Adam. He would come down in the cool of the day to have a little chat with Adam. Amen? Can I be real with you today? We are young people. Can I break it down? Amen. He had a little chat with Adam daily. Amen. But, amen, something happened because God gave Adam a commandment. And God said unto him, amen, you can have of all the fruits that are in the garden. But of this particular tree thou shall not touch, you shall not eat. Am I right? Because the day that you eat it, you shall surely Amen. Amen. Now, when God was speaking about death there, amen, then somebody would say, then why did not Adam die? You have to understand that the Bible speaks of two deaths. Am I right? The spiritual death and the natural death. Amen. So God was really talking about a spiritual death. Amen. Amen. And the Bible says that, amen, Adam, God made unto him a woman. Mm -hmm. And when God made unto him the woman, amen, the serpent came one day, and you know the story very well, Adam did eat, amen, and sin, amen, got in the picture, amen, because now man was disobedient, and disobedience gave birth to sin, and sin gave birth to death, so, amen, as soon as Adam ate of the tree, he, he died, 
Am I right? He died a spiritual death. Amen. Now, Adam lost his identity because when God came on the scene, and God came now, amen, at the same spot, because what you need to understand, beloved, is that God has a place where he meets you. Amen. And every child of God should have a spot, whether in your house or whether on your job, and you consecrate that spot and say, God, I'm going to meet you here every four o'clock. Now, when you get your four o'clock, whether or not you are there, God is there waiting on you. Am I talking in here? Amen. So God went to the spot where Adam, amen, would have met him daily. Amen. But when God reached there, Adam was not there. So God recognized now, Minister Carl, that something was wrong. So God started to cry, Adam. Adam, amen. I want you to understand that whenever you move from the place where you are in God, God doesn't write you off. Mm, we have church people who are so quick to write you off, who are so quick to bury you. No, not my God. God is still standing and waiting on you. God was saying, Adam, where are you? Oh, God, I wish I had somebody to lift their hands and say, thank you, Lord. Now, when Adam came on the scene, Adam said, Lord, I heard your voice, but, 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 but I, I, I was hiding. Amen. It is the devil's intention, young people, for us to hide away from God. It is the devil's intention to keep you from the presence of God. Because the devil knows that when you are in the presence of the Lord, there is fullness of joy. And at his right hand, there are pleasures. You're not talking yet. Amen. And so it's the devil's intention to keep you away from the presence of God to destroy you. But the devil is a liar. I don't care how, oh God, how badly you have been messed up. I don't care how badly you have been broken. I dare you to stay in the presence of the Lord. Oh God, somebody shout hallelujah. So now Adam lost his identity in God. And now when you lose your identity, it is very bad. Because now, the sister says you don't know where you are. There's an actor, actor, oh God, in Jamaica. Them call him Shibada. And he would say, you're on the border line. So now when you are, when you lose it, when you lose your identity in God, you end up on you don't know where you are. You don't know who you are. And so you start to accept defeat. Oh, you start to accept, amen, discomfort and, de and defeat. But I hear somebody say, don't talk defeat to me. I'm a child of God and I've got the victory. Somebody praise his name. Amen. So now Adam fell in a position where he was, he did not even know who he was again. He lost his identity in God. The church is not at the place where it used to be. When I look on the church now, I remember Zion. When my grandfather used to tell me about Zion, because I don't know Zion. I just come and know the church now, but I'm talking about the real Zion. The real authentic, the authentic Zion where people would not even have to come to the altar to be filled with the Holy Ghost. Mothers, do you remember those days when you could stay downstairs and before you get up in the sanctuary you feel a shaking? Ah, these are the days, brethren, when you even come to the altar and people got to be pumping you. Hallelujah. Say Jesus, say Jesus, say Jesus, say Jesus. You don't need none of that in the whole time, church. You just need a clean heart, oh God. Oh God Almighty, you just need a clean mindset and you walk up in here and the Holy Ghost would just sit here. Do, do you remember that mother? These are the days, beloved, when you come and you sit on the choir and you feel no power. Oh, the preacher is preaching, but you are dead. Oh, these are the days, brethren, when preacher is preaching. Amen. But you are on your tablet. Oh, God. You are scrolling through, crossing candy. Can I talk in here? Oh, yes. The devil is a liar. Somebody said, we need to get back in Zion. We need to get back in God. Somebody said, we need to go way back. Way back in God. Hey, 
these are the days, uh, amen, when you preach, preach, uh, preaching, but you are there on your farm field. You are there. Oh, God Almighty, do I have it up in here? Somebody say, ouch. These are the days, brethren, when we get so materialistic. Can I talk to you? In the whole time, church, they didn't have tablets. They didn't have a degree. Hey, God, did nothing is wrong with having a degree. Hey, nothing is wrong with having a bachelor. Amen. A master's. It's good. Amen. And I desire to have my PhD someday. But, amen, these are the days where people put emphasis on those things. In the real desire, they didn't even know. Some of them couldn't even read the Bible. But they would go in the banana walk. They would go in the banana bush uh, and they would get a divine revelation from God. These are the days when preachers, uh, when you're going to preach, you got to Google a message. Uh, the devil is a liar. Nobody wants to talk from the Holy Ghost anymore. Somebody said we need to get back in God. It's quiet in here. Somebody said, ouch. These are the days, beloved, when we look in the church. Amen. When we have our young people, 10 years, 15 years. I can't talk like all the other, amen, speakers. I got to be me. I'm, is that all right? Amen. These are the days, beloved, when we have our young people. Amen. 10 years singing on the choir. You have them 10 years in Sunday school. Amen. And you have them good, but the one year the prophets I get them, they come back to church with hearing. Oh, God. Oh, Lord. You don't have it up in here. Amen. These are the days we need to get back in God, beloved. Amen. We are holiness was the heart of the day. This church nowadays we speak holiness. But you check them on Monday. You check them on Tuesday. You check them on Wednesday. They are devils. But Sunday them dress up in a white. With Bible in them hand. Them are one day Christian. So we need to get back. We need to come alive. We are dead. I hear God said to the church of Ephesus, Oh God Almighty, I know your works. I know your works. I know your labor. You think you're living, but you are dead. Because you have lost your first love. Do you remember when you just got saved? Nobody had to tell you it was church time. Can I talk it? Minister called, we would get in Jamaica, we would get the pot ready from Saturday night. Oh God, we would pressure the peace from Saturday night. We pressure the hot steel and the cold food from Saturday night. Because we know we have to be early for Sunday school. These are the days, Sunday morning, pot no cook yet. Oh, Sunday morning, that's the time we are ready to cook pot when church starts at 11 o'clock, the marching in 12. The devil is a liar, you want to sing on the praise team? Oh God, Somebody for the blood of Jesus. No Sunday school, no choir. You can't come to Sunday school, you can't come to Bible class, but you want to come, amen. You call Bible class, five people showing up. You call Bible class, two people showing up. You call prayer meeting, Lord God, one person showing up. But you call a youth revival. You don't have place to put people. The devil is a liar. Amen. are always to pray and not say it. If you can't pray, you won't stay. And if you don't fast, you won't last. A prayerless Christian is a powerless Christian. Hallelujah. You don't win your battles in youth revival. You win your battles in prayer. Can I talk in this church to you young people? You need to cut it out. If you can't come to Sunday school, Bishop, don't let them sing on the choir. Amen. Somebody say, oh. Sit down, sit down, let me talk a minute. Hallelujah, these are the days. Hallelujah to God when you look. Amen. You don't, listen man. We need to get it right, beloved. The church, this is the church of Jesus Christ. These are the days when you have the young people, you don't even know that they have Holy Ghost anymore. 
You have lost your identity. You go to school and not even your schoolmates know that you have the Holy Ghost because you are trying to fit in. These are the days when young people are ashamed to be called a one God apostolic. You don't want to be identified as an apostolic because apostolic make too much noise. You want to be identified as a Baptist because they are the dignitary. But I'm not ashamed. I know who I am. Look at somebody and say, I know who I am. I know my identity in the kingdom. I'm a one God apostolic. I speak in tongues and I'm not afraid of it. Somebody don't shout. You don't want to shout in here, but that's all right. Minister call if I get you to agree with me, we we'll set this place on fire. It is power hour. These are the days when young people come and shut up their mouth. You need to understand that when you open up your mouth, something got to happen. Feel the Holy Ghost in this place. Somebody just jump on your feet right now. Come on, get me the musicians wherever they are. These are the days when musicians don't want to live a consecrated life. I gotta go through the door because if you don't like Lord Jesus, can I talk in here? I'm not gonna come and twang and go on like me and eat hot potato. No, me have to give it to you raw. If I pop where you understand, I pop where you go get it. Somebody say you gotta be real. Oh, you know, I agree with me, but that's all right. I know I'm stepping on some dignitary store, but that's all right. I don't want to hear how much degree you have. I don't want to hear how much things you accomplish. While you're dear to God Almighty, telling me how much things you accomplish. Somebody here dying and needs a word from God. We need to get back to Zion. Hallelujah to God. We need to get back to the place where we just stop preach blessing and prosperity message. It is taking over Pentecost. Everybody want to hear you're going to be blessed. You're going to be delivered. And everybody jump and shout. But when you walk out of church, you walk back in your mess. I need a stone story message. I need to hear holiness unto the Lord. It's a watchword. Somebody jump to your feet, sit back down and say, Holy Ghost. Yes, I need to hear something, man. I need something to trouble my spirit. That every time I think of sending the dirty WhatsApp message, the Holy Ghost said, No, hello, somebody. I want to become uncomfortable in my mess, young people. We need to get back to Zion where people are afraid to walk in God's house with mess. These are the days coming fornication on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and you step up on the choir Sunday. Somebody says, throw it out, throw it out, throw it out. The devil is a liar. We're going back to Pentecost when Holy Ghost strip people, when Holy Ghost beat people. What kind of church is this? It is a Holy Ghost church. It is a Holy Ghost. Somebody say house. Somebody say house. The devil is a liar. These are the days where we have to be pumping people. Sister Cyril, you are the president. You know the problem. You have to be pumping young people. You said, brother, you're going to lead the praise and worship. No, Sister Cheryl, not me, that one. And you're running away from your purpose. But you want God to use you. The devil is a liar. You got to have yourself to be used. Somebody says you can use anything, Lord. You can use me. I'm available to you. I'm behaving myself. Sit down. No. Let me talk to you a minute. These are the days I remember Zion, man. There is a yearning in my spirit. I want to see revival break out in the church. Listen, brethren. Moses, we love to talk about Moses said this. And Paul do this. But I need an experience for myself. Some of you don't have no personal experience for yourself. That's why you can't live off of the city. 
sister testimony. But when the sister betray you, you backslide on a church. Can I talk in this place? I need a personal experience with God. I don't want to say Paul say. I want to say Saki and say. God is a deliverer. I'm longing to see the choir sing again on the bus. I'm longing to see music and play the music in the spirit. Have you ever seen it? Yes, it was in the whole church. They did not have music. All they had was tambourine. Some of them never had none. These are the days, brethren. We get so, amen, uh, I don't technologically advanced. We don't even need a tambourine. You have drums, you have the heart. People don't even carry the Pentecostal in no more because we have a flat screen TV. The devil is a liar. We need to get back. Somebody said we need to get way back. Oh God, I can't do better. Yes, there are passing perch in my uncle, so I can't really do better. I feel crazy, my God. Hallelujah. Somebody sit down, man. Let us talk. Young people, we need to get back. We are speaking about oh, we're not seeing miracles. No, we're not seeing people being filled. Brethren, these are the days when you're keeping a meeting. You have to be praying and pumping God. Please fill somebody. In those days, they never had to do that. You know, because guess what? People have a stigma nowadays what church should be like. They, they, they have a stigma that, listen, Sister Sherry is going to pump us. But in that church, they did not have that. Everybody came with a worship in their heart. If you come with your fire, and I come with my fire, Fire, and you have your fire when fire touch fire. Shabbat. When fire touch fire, there got to be a story. There got to be a somebody to Holy Ghost. Somebody look at the neighbor and say, Do you have it? Ask somebody, do you have it? Look at your neighbor and say, if you have it, show me it. Shaka bakotosa. Look at somebody and say, holy ghost. Walk up here, see, walk over to somebody and say, holy ghost. It's power hour. It's holy ghost time. For on the day of Pentecost, they were in one place, on one accord. And suddenly, look at somebody and say, suddenly. Look at somebody and say, I know you look cute, but this is the time for the Holy Ghost. For I hear Joel declare in the last days, say God, I will pour out. Somebody say get it. Look at the neighbor say take it. Look at somebody say take it. Lord God, you look too cute up in here. You look too cute up in here. But I run down there. Release it, release it. Rabba it's a holy ghost church. Holy ghost church. Run down there, preacher. Somebody say holy ghost. Somebody say holy ghost. Somebody say fire. Somebody say fire. Fire make it burn. I feel crazy up in here. Preacher, run down there and come back. I want something happen. Run down there. Touch them with my anointed rock. Wake up the fire. Wake up the fire. Wake up the fire. Somebody says fire. Somebody turn around and say fire. Turn around and say fire. Sit down on the fire. Can a man sit on fire and be in a burst? Somebody say fire! Some of you need some fire. Some of you need some fire. I need five young men. Run and touch my hands. And run down there. You will never be the same. Fire of God. Somebody say fire. Somebody say fire. Shout it like you mean it. Shout it like you want it. It's your time. Young people, it's your time. Some more fire. 
It's your time to shine. The devil is a liar. You're coming out. We are the buried you. You're coming out. Look at somebody. Say it's my time. Tell somebody give me a pass. It's my season to break free. Somebody show yeah. I don't hear the sound yet. There was a sound. Pentecost has a sound. The devil wanna shut up the sound. But he's a liar. Can I come over here? Over here have some fire. But I release the fire. I release the fire. Somebody show yes. Somebody show fire. Somebody say hey. Out of your belly. Shall flow rivers of living water. Hey, Naya, go back to your neighbor. I'm coming down.